Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today is a very exciting day for me to film. I am super excited to get back to tutorials, to balloon installations, balloon decor, balloon DIYs, and everything that um, under the balloon. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently got sick. I took time to recover. It took me a while to recover. I'm still recovering as of now, but I feel really strong, very good, and I'm ready to start the tutorials and DIYs again. I bought lots of things for tutorials and videos for my channel that during the time that I was recovering, I had to put everything on hold and my schedule got got lost <laughs> in all the recovery time. So now I am starting to use all the stuff that I got for you guys. And we are starting with BCT balloons. They are from Nashville, Tennessee. And this is one of the colors that I got from them. BCT balloons started with printed balloons. And then they just recently started adding solid colors into their list of balloons. I am super excited to test them out, see the quality, see what's going on because their printed balloons are amazing. Nothing like you would see on the market today. It's super modern, super something new. For example, this is uh, one of the uh, packages of balloons. These are turtle printed balloons. I have a whole bunch of printed balloons from BCT Balloons and I cannot wait to use them all. So I'll link them in the description under the video. Check them out. And also I will be using a new shimmer wall that I got from a company. They actually sent me the wall to use in one of my setups. Cannot wait to show you how it's going to look. So without any further ado, let's go. That shimmer wall will be linked and listed in the description under this video as well. And finally, you guys, I got myself an adjustable frame. This frame is needed very much in my collection. I do own frames in silver color. You've seen them a million times in my videos. Those frames are not adjustable on my vertical pipes. Only horizontal pipe can adjust. And this one can adjust as vertically, so as horizontally. So super excited for this one and it's absolutely needed for the shimmer wall that I'm about to use very soon. So let's assemble this and test this frame out. We'll see how it's going to hold heavy shimmer wall. pretty good so far and these are the panels that I will be using today you guys they are absolutely stunning I love all the colors that these sequins are kind of giving me purples greens yellows I mean pinks so 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 pretty and to connect all of the panels together I will be using small zip ties let me scooch you closer and let's assemble this wall so this is the box that you will be getting after you'll receive your order of shimmer wall when you open you will get your panels and also a baggie with small zip ties and some adhesive um hooks i'm not sure what they're for maybe to put them on the wall i never put them on the wall because they do damage the wall unless your paint is glossy and it's going to stick without damaging your walls so this is nice to include some uh, zip ties and also they included um, extra nails that the shimmer is holding onto and some of the sequins as well just in case you lose one or breaks or something's gonna bend you can replace uh, your damaged one with a new sequin so this is very nice and each panel will be lined with this very nice liner uh, if you don't line your panels your panels will get caught on each other and you can ruin your panels and ruin your shimmers so as you can see this one is not it is lined but it kind of got stuck on each other it's okay but this is the concept this is the box that you will get the correct name for this color that i have over here is iridescent so 
but let's go. When assembling your shimmer wall, make sure that you line your panels correctly because there is a correct way and incorrect way. If you look at this panel right now, all the sequins goes really even with the plastic that they're attached to and nothing out of the plastic is exposed. But when you turn your panel to incorrect way, you can see that the top portion of your panel is exposed. This is a wrong way to assemble your wall and have your panels turned to. So make sure all of the sequins cover all of the uh, plastic on your panels and this is the correct way. So turn, grab another one. I don't know if the camera will pick up, but at the top of your panels, if you place your panels correctly, you can see little arrows right there. They're pointing up. So that means your panel needs to go up like this. So next you will be grabbing your mini zip ties that come with the panels. You will go through the holes and zip tie it. What I'm doing. I am not attaching all the panels together because it's going to be a little bit harder to pick that full wall and attach it to the frame. So I decided to have something like this. I am attaching a few panels together and that's going to be a lot easier for me to take it to my frame and attach it this way. So with a whole bunch of sections I will be building this wall. Also I am attaching my shimmer wall to this frame with long big zip ties. They will be linked in the description under this video. On my frame now just because this frame is adjustable and this is what I love about this frame now I can hide this gap by adjusting my vertical um, pipes so let's do that here are the colors that I have from BCT and balloons thank you so much for sending me these beautiful colors let's go through sizes and colors so sizes are 13 and 5 inch balloons we are starting from the top this is lavender this is crepe myrtle i hope i pronounced that right pistachio this bag over here and we're starting with 13 now is uh, missing the tag with the name of the color so i am not sure but it's a beautiful color and this one is sculptor clay let's unpack let's inflate let's construct to inflate my balloons i will be using two different types of inflators this one is electric inflator from festi i will link it in the description under this video you can always use my code AO balloons 10 at festi for 10 percent off at checkout and the second inflator i will be using is legenda why because there is a lot of five inch balloons and it will be much easier for me to use Legenda than using uh, a regular balloon inflator. Why? Because here I can set up a timer and all of my five inch balloons will be inflated to the same capacity. So let's start with 13 inch balloons. First one will be no name balloons. So I'm grabbing two balloons and inflating them at the same time. You guys, I really like the quality of these balloons so far. You can tell a lot about the balloon while or after you will inflate a balloon right away. And it's soft enough, it's firm enough. Seems like it's gonna be very easy to tie the necks of balloons because they are uh, not as tough as some other balloons can be. So the next I am crisscrossing my balloons and tying them into a pair. So as you can see, I did inflate my balloons into two different sizes. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's a little bit smaller. Next one is Sculptor Clay. This color is very beautiful as well. 
I really like it. The only thing, again, a lot of balloons have this, but these balloons have darker spots right on top, and that's that's manageable. Uh, a few other brands of balloons do have this, and unfortunately, you can't really do much about this little dot. So again, tie into a pair. Switching my inflators. So going for lavender balloons, I did put a 0.9 timer. We'll see how they will inflate at this capacity. Let's try it out. And after inflation, I tie them together into a pair. It's a really nice size five inch balloons. You can absolutely inflate them a little bit uh, more. You can put it at 1.1 timer and they will be just a little bit bigger. I like the size, we'll stick to 0.9. It's a very beautiful, very subtle lavender color, very pretty. This one is crepe myrtle. This one is a very beautiful berry fuchsia kind of looking color, absolutely stunning. Love it. Into a pair. And last but not least, pistachio color. Look how pretty. In the future, I really want to test them out outside and see how they're going to hold up outside. I have so many plans, you guys, <laughs> for the outside, for the outdoors, but it's already end of June and I need to hurry up. Here's what I've noticed while inflating these five inch balloons. These balloons, and the same thing goes to 13 inch balloons, these balloons have a different feel to them than other brands of balloons. Here's what I've noticed. When you would inflate these balloons and you're trying to, um, you know, wrap the balloons and necks and using your fingers, I've noticed that uh, the latex has a better grip on your skin and they don't want to slide down your fingers as easy as, for example, Qualitex or Tuftix, if we would compare them to those two brands. I feel like Qualitex and Tuftix, maybe they are treated more with powders or latex formula is different that when you tie Qualitex and Tuftix, balloons just glide off of your fingers and they don't grip on your skin. These balloons do. It's not a big deal. It's absolutely manageable. And also after I'll, I'll be finished with five inch uh, pairs, I will be making quads out of five inch balloons. Also, this uh, uh, non-gliding thing situation of latex on my fingers, I did see or I did encounter that with other brands of balloons. This is not just the BCT balloons, it's other brands as well. So let's inflate the rest. Balloons are ready. They are looking pretty good. I like it. Now let's leave them overnight to see if any of the balloons will deflate overnight. I usually do this every single time I review a new brand of balloons. So I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so this is the next day. I checked all the balloons and none of the balloons deflated or lost their shape or anything like that. So really happy with how they performed overnight. So it's time to construct our balloon garland. So I am grabbing clusters of balloons, finding those long necks and tying my clusters by the necks of balloons. And let me tell you, when I am tying Next up balloons, I am really tugging on those necks. And these necks, they survived my pool. I am not gentle when I'm working with balloons whatsoever. These necks survived my pool. That's great. Let's construct the rest. I will be using this happy birthday sign from exactly the same company, exactly the same seller that sells this shimmer wall. Everything will be linked.
Time to deal with five inch balloons. So I took quads and tied them by the necks of balloons together into bundles of balloons like this. I tied my pink balloons to quads and purple and green. I combined three quads together. So I will be attaching them on my balloon garland. And this is what I have for you guys today. Look at this beautiful setup. I feel like this setup uh, turned out to be super easy on the eye, super flowy, super light. That pop of pink is just perfect in here, kind of like a peekaboo uh, bright color. Thank you so much, BCT Balloons, for sending me this beautiful but yet challenging color palette. Thank you so much. I want to try uh, new colors from BCT and Balloons. They are coming out with solids more and more and also excited to use their printed uh, balloons. Stay tuned. I will be using them in my future upcoming videos. Also, thank you so much to the company for sending me happy birthday sign and shimmer wall. I will link them in the description under the video. Also, this Visteria, these Visteria flowers that I used for today's setup, I got them on Amazon and they are absolutely stunning. I own purple color and white and I could not be more happier with them. They will be linked in the description under this video as well. Also, this chair is from Amazon as well. This is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and inspiring. If it was, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. They help more than you think. I will link and list every single product that I used today in the description under the video. Check it out. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and great ideas. And I hope all of you will have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.